Hey guys, so earlier this week it was Chinese New Year's. Um, as usual, I went up to my parents' house for Chinese New Year's dinner. This year is the year of the dragon, the water dragon more specifically. Uh, I did mention this earlier this week. <clears throat> um, anyway, where do I want to go with this? Oh yeah, um... Uh, if you live on the East Coast, uh, this past Tuesday was unusually warm. Uh, over the weekend, we had maybe a foot of snow, a foot and a half maybe of snow. Uh, and this Tuesday was uh, unusually warm. Melted um, almost all of the snow. Uh, and... Uh, later that day, I found out that there was a massive solar flare that day, or something like that, I suppose, and uh, which explains why it was unusually warm for this time of year, I guess. Uh, but uh, when I thought about the solar flare, I remembered back a couple of weeks ago, I believe. Uh, I had jokingly prophesied, jokingly, mind you, uh, I was not um, being serious at the time at all. I had uh, uh, jokingly prophesied that being that this is the year 2012 and it was going to be the year of the dragon, that uh, on Chinese New Year's, the dragon would rise. Uh, so I suppose that solar flare was the dragon. I don't know. Uh, and this just now got me thinking about all the other ancient prophecies. Um, how uh, back then they had no idea what a, uh, a solar flare or nuclear missile or even a meteor was. You know, they had no idea what this stuff was, so they would refer to them as either the sky falling, burning, or uh, uh, demons, serpents, what have you. So, um, I guess in this case, uh, oh, hold on, hold on, before I get to that, um, I believe NASA even uh, made predictions that this year there was going to be a lot of solar activity. I think. I could be wrong. So anyway, uh, as I was saying, in this case, I guess all the solar, f uh, solar activities that are going to happen this year is the dragon? I suppose? Uh... So, we'll see. Um... Okay, on to, so that, enough of that rambling. On to the next topic. <clears throat> next week is TempleCon in uh, Rhode Island. Uh, February 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Uh, and I will be going. Uh, this is not something I had planned for really, really far ahead of time. Like I usually do with all my other conventions. Uh, in fact, I only uh, heard about just learned about uh, TempleCon last week and so uh, next week I will be going to TempleCon tagging along actually I'll be tagging along with uh, a account named Slickbrass and his crew of the ASS Tillis so uh, uh, I'll be uh, going along with them to uh, lend a hand uh, with whatever they need me for um, either documenting uh, behind the scenes, recording their panels, whatever. Uh, and I'm uh, really looking forward to this and uh, really excited about this trip. Uh, um, so yeah, look forward to my usual uh, convention uh, videos. Uh, speaking of which, um, I have one final GobbleCon video to upload. Uh, hopefully I'll have that up uh, by the end of this week. If not by the end of this week, then um, uh, before TempleCon next week. Uh, 
Um, see, I think that's all I have to say about that topic. So, uh, on to the next topic of ram, next rambling topic, which is, um, uh, schools are back in school is back in session for my friends, and so as you can see, I am back in my favorite place on campus, the soundproof booth in the music department. And so, uh, look forward to my uh, next uh, few months of vlogs being here, um, provided that uh, no one needs to use this booth at the time. So, um, I think that's it. Uh, that's it for this week. So, um, later. Oh, one more thing. I love snow. I love shoveling it. It's my favorite workout. Uh, you, uh, it's, it's practical, you know. It's, you work your upper and lower body at the same time. It's cardio, it's strength training, both rolled into one. Uh, uh it's nice and cool out, so I don't overheat. Uh, because I really, really hate overheating. And like I said, it's practical, you know? You're getting something done and you're doing, ex and you're exercising at the same time. So, uh... Okay, bye.